<laughs> it's number two on George Michael week. I've been having a blast, Joe. I love George Michael. I love his voice. I love the way he looks. I know. He's and a that, very handsome man. And that performance with Elton John. That was Sir. Sir Elton. Fantastic. Did they, they, they do salutes in England? I believe so. Do people salute the king, the, the royalty of England? The military does. Uh, or do they just, do the, 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 what do they call them? Not peons. What do you call them? Peons. Peasants. <laughs> do the peasants. <laughs> do all you peasants of England bow to your king? And how do you feel? Do you feel like you are still peasants? I mean. Yeah. How does it feel to be an Englander? English. Yeah. <laughs> how does it feel to be English? I mean, do you I feel get, like a peasant. Well, and I guess the, yeah, the, technically Charles is the king of like Canada and Australia too. Oh, that's a bunch of hogwash. Do the right. Canadians feel like peasants? Yeah. How do you how do you Canadians feel? Dang. All right, let's watch Freedom, nineteen ninety. Yeah. Disc. I won't let you down. I will not give you up. Gotta have some faith in the sound. It's the one good thing that I've got. I won't let you down. So please don't give me up. Cause I would really, really love to stick around. Oh yeah. So, uh, first of all, I love that chorus. I got, know. This song's got a nice beat. And once again, George Michael's voice. Piano. The piano, that's very 90s. Yes. Uh, have we not seen? He's not He's, he's not in this. He's not in the whole music video. No. Freedom uh, is all supermodels. They are stunning. They are stunning. And uh, I am so happy that they remastered this video. In four, It's 4K? I mean, it's in pretty good K. It's beautiful condition. It looks like we're really there. <laughs> Was that in like okay K or like really, really good K? Or? It's really good K. It's like a, a pretty solid P. So, uh... Do, I are, are only these ho- are these house names. Do we know? I only is this know Naomi Campbell. That's the only one. I that's she, the only person I know in this she video. She is stunning. She is. I I am falling in love, Joe. Uh, but do we know who this is? This I person don't, looks familiar. 
they all look familiar. I could probably just look up the names of all the people in the video. And then who's this this hunk of a gentleman sitting down eating an orange? Well, you got some hunks. You know what I like about it, especially Naomi Campbell's uh, what? area. It reminds me of, and I think this is from this is before the movie, but it reminds me of Fight Club. Oh, it is very Fight Club. That's just the house they live in. Yeah, what this you, is from before it though. I'm assuming 1990. You think this came out in 1990? This looks more like late 90s. Well, n- maybe mid 90s. You know why this looks newer? Because it was remastered. the The video's so clear, it, you just don't feel like it could be 1990. Yeah, it just it just seems weird. Yeah, nineteen ninety. Uh, yeah, the the ninety is literally the year. Oh, I see. The ninety added at the end of the title is to prevent confusion with a hit by Michael's former band Wham, also entitled Freedom. Oh, okay. But it was released in nineteen ninety. And the backing beat is a sample from James Brown's song "Funky Drummer." Ah, oh, there you go. Yeah, look at this. Look oh at this my room, she's in. It's so like beat up and like grim. Yeah. What do we got? Anything good? I am learning some crazy things. So, should we should we discuss after? Should we get through the video first? The video is directed by David Fincher. Who did? Fight Club. Oh god, no way. Yeah. That's hilarious. Did they use the same house? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this is his aesthetic for sure. Michael refused to be in the appear in the music video for the song directed by David Fincher and cast a group of supermodels to appear instead. That's awesome. I love that idea. Yeah. Look how stunning she is. It wow, beautiful. Okay, let's keep yeah. it moving.
They blew up all the stuff from Faith. Oh, and burned the coat. They burned the coat, they blew up the Dude, jukebox, and they blew up the guitar. David Fincher is the man. Holy moly. What? I mean, that is a clear and cut, like, very specific style that I guess is him. <laughs> I guess. Like, yeah. This is 1990. Yeah, it's and years he, before Fight Club. Years before Fight Club, and when Fight Club came out, it was still like, holy shit, what is this? You know, yeah. like people hadn't really gone that far with uh, with cinematography the way he did. We could to make it so just like viscerally raw and grimy and just. But still aesthetically pleasing. It's not just like, oh, this is gross. It's like I'm captivated by how real this feels, and you know. This video, going back to this video, it helps that everyone in it is stunning supermodels. Oh, my Cindy gosh. Crawford. Was she in it? Yes. I'm that's let's let's look it up. <laughs> Cindy Crawford. The only person I recognize is Naomi. Naomi Campbell. It's ah, it's a great name too. You know, I'm pretty sure do you see Cindy Crawford's name? Cindy Crawford! Okay. Yes, I was wrong. Naomi Campbell, Linda Evangelista, Tatiana Petitz. I don't recognize I'm blown, names. I'm ruining these names. What about the guy? I don't see any of the guys on here. No. But, wow. That is, man, David Fincher. What a vision. Oh. And and what a unique vision for a song that feels you know, is a little rebellious. It's kinda like I'm breaking free of the chains that um have been holding me down. But the song itself is a bit more bubbly and colorful. But David Fincher does not do bubbly and colorful, apparently. Mm-hmm. But what he does is incredible and he does it so well. Like these shots are beautiful. Like you go back to any of these shots. And the, like, there's, there's no misses. They're all just like aesthetically pleasing and stunning. Like, look at this. Just any, well, this is a transitional shot. But any shot that you get, it's so well lit. It's so intentional and holds like, it, they're also very dark. But yeah, like this lighting, just showing her nose and her mouth when mm-hmm. she's singing. And then here for the eyes. Oh, it's so good. Oh, he had done videos oh, for so amazing. He had done videos for Madonna, Billy Idol. Oh, okay. Um, Aerosmith and Paula Abdul. But, before. But every every screenshot is like stunning. It's like a piece. It's like a work of art. Look at this. This is just random. I'm just clicking around. I know. Every, every shot. Any shot you stumble upon, it's like cool. It just looks good. All the lighting is so incredible. It's awesome. I'm so glad that they so, read. Like, like this upshot. Is she on like the phone or something? What is this phone cable? Yeah, she's on the phone. She's just calling in. She's on the phone, Mike. Give, like, her, give her a break. These, <laughs> these shots. Oh, it's just so. Look at this. Oh, and it's all on yeah, film, I love too. it. It's beautiful. This is 1990. It's all on film. It's so much harder to do. Look at this. That's I'm so glad they've re- they've remastered all of this video because it's just such a. That's so cool. It's uh, like every video. I, I I hope that they remaster every single video ever that was on film that you can remaster and make them this great quality because, like you said, it feels like it's new and it's like, but it's not new. It's not. It's old. You feel like you're really there and and you really get to see it. Uh, you get to see the the vision in full. Yeah. Full detail. And there's so much more for us as viewers to be able to connect to them as they were like seen by them. Right. Like right. in yeah, person, what the intention it. is. It's at least it's closer to what they how they saw it. So that's why it's so cool. Because there is a feeling of disconnect when you watch like an old movie and it's in old Yeah. It is, it is like an old star. It's it's just a crappy film, or it's just old, and you're watching. You're like, ah, oh, yeah, this movie it looks old. Yeah, I don't like this, that. But this it doesn't look old. It's amazing. The yeah. only thing that makes it look old is that it's in four by three. I love that it's all like you said. It's in this beat up, like run down old house. Like, cause with all the dust and like just the years of lived inness. Yeah, and like, you can you see just it all. Cool textures like this. I, I think okay. I think I'm understanding why this looks so awesome. Because you have these beautiful models in really cool clothing, which kind of stood the test of time. They still look cool. Yeah. 
Um, well, clothing styles always feel like they go through their cycles, but at a certain point, like vintage is just kind of cool vintage and it gets repurposed over and over again. So then it can always stay kind of cool. The only things that don't look cool are like, like, I feel like in this moment right now, the only styles that you're like, whoa, someone's wearing that is like something from like 2000. 15. 11 or, oh, yeah, yeah, or like yeah, 2012 yeah. something like that and you're yeah, like yeah, yeah. nah like nah bro i don't think ed hardy's come back yet like we're still <laughs> waiting on it yeah it could make its return but yeah. i don't know yet we're still we're still holding out there but like now we're definitely seeing a lot of that yeah, y2k stuff come back that's the true. early 2000s yeah you gotta be 20 years removed it seems yeah and then it's like oh it's vintage but it's been recycled so it it can look like it matches up with something someone would wear but to see, okay, so like there's a radiator here. It's just like beat up old wall, but it looks like it used to be something pretty beautiful. Ah, oh, just there's this beautiful, awesome contrast that I just love. Man. And we get Excuse to see me. it in this beautiful HD now. It's wonderful. I'm so grateful. I don't think I've ever geeked out this hard about a music video that I hadn't already known about. Look at this shot. That's stunning. I know. Look at the color, like Beautiful. how they colored the frick. Look at how they colored the freaking jacket so bright with the flame around it too. It's amazing. Well, so they did, they, they knew, okay, this is the genius. Here, go back to the flame shot. So they colored the whole scene with blue light. It's blue light. Yeah. Knowing that the flame was going to be vibrant, like bright orangish yellow. And the contrast of that was just going to make it pop in the most beautiful way. Cause, cause the flame is so bright, but it's not like this is a, a well lit room. Like it's still kind of scary in there. Like it, yeah. feel, it still feels cold, even though that jacket's on fire, you know? Yeah. Uh, oh man. And well one thing done. that's amazing too, is that like at this time, everything's got to be pretty practical. Oh yeah, they you know, really lit that on 1990, fire. 1990, <laughs> like they're not—that's not some weird CGI'd flame or something. They probably like that. had to fire, uh, hire the fire marshal to be on set. <laughs> yeah. So, what, but but what makes makes that amazing is that you're getting the real thing. Yeah, it's very everything real. is very real instead of real. instead of you know what it is like everything is probably boosted in CGI all the time. Now things like that could be expensive and dangerous, so maybe you don't want to do it. But and also expensive because you only get. You only get you only get one shot. I mean, after you run that, that whole closet's burned up, yeah, I'm like scarred and stuff like that. It's pretty amazing. It's awesome. I guess you could burn it a couple times. I you, don't know. you, this could be a studio. They could just build a wall in a closet and just Still, shoot though. It like that. Still, though, that seems like a pain in the ass. <laughs> than just yeah, throwing a little CGI. Look at this. This is just stunning. But it's it, absolutely beautiful. I just can't get over it. But nothing beats the real thing, and is, is the main point. Of what I'm saying, nothing beats the real thing of how of how that lighting and how the how the color of the or how the flames look, and a lot of those things like you don't you know you don't get to see it through because if the film wasn't preserved well and can't be remastered well, it you know kind of gets lost in time. Is that an old? That's an empty chimney that yeah, he's sitting empty, in. Empty fireplace. They put a light in. Oh, yeah, fireplace to light him up and he's throwing a paper airplane and look he's got another one right here you you could just screenshot any of these still frames and post it on like tumblr or like a cool aesthetic instagram page and get a lot of followers and be like wow this is beautiful today yeah. it's all from the george michael it's, freedom it's all literally video. from what and they're not even they're just screenshots from my computer <laughs> yeah exactly like even just this, it's so oh, it's beautiful and how he's flipping yeah. the light on and off. I mean, the only thing that I'll say is that the song kind of doesn't fit. <laughs> what, do you, what, what? How would you want the song to be? No, no, no. Like, I love the song, but the imagery is so much darker than the song feels to me. The song feels like triumphant, more like sunny skies. We're out on the open road getting away from it all. And then this this takes you into like a I don't know it's or it's how about a, this it's an interesting the song the song allows them to be able to to get get out of, get the out of their situation yeah, yeah. temporarily it's right. freedom from the the dark dingy life they're living right and I understand that but what I also like is uh, 
you also know it's the 90s because of this man doing his crunches hanging from the door. That's just, that's a classic 90s thing. This, yeah. like, upside down with those funny shoes on. Oh, uh, yeah. I've never used those before. You ever tried to use those before? No. I know. So. It's, it's crazy. That's some. All right, we are past our time. We got to move on to my Let's favorite go. part of the every night. That's right. <laughs> 